good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion of the topic projection of plane inclined to both the planes under this we are discussing now sixth solved problem now we will enter into the problem the given problem is a thin 30 degrees 60 degrees set square has its longest edge in the vp and inclined at 30 degrees to the hp its surface makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vp draw its projections here this is the set square and this is the longest edge of the set square and the angle between the longest edge and this edge is 30 degrees and the angle between this longest edge and this edge is 60 degrees now we will extract the data from this problem what is the name of the plane it is 30 degrees 60 degrees set square Surface inclined to each plane, vertical plane, with how much inclination? 45 degrees to the vertical plane. Then, because the plane is inclined to VP, we need to assume initially it is parallel to the VP. So, which view will show true shape? Because it is parallel to VP, that is, plane is parallel to VP, that's why in front view we will get true shape. Front view is projected onto the vertical plane which side kept perpendicular to the hp longest side why we need to keep longest side perpendicular to x y line that i'll explain later hence begin with front view with hypotenuse that is longest side perpendicular to the x y line longest side inclination with hp is how much 30 degrees now we'll see how we are going to solve this problem the solution part is divided into three stages stage one initial assumption that is plane parallel to vp second stage surface inclination with vp third stage longer side inclination with hp this is the required solution for us this is first stage solution and this is second stage solution and this is third stage solution how we will get this solution in all three stages that we will see now. Before going to the solution, we need to recollect the basic concept related to the projection of plane when its surface is making inclination to the reference plane. Here, if the plane is resting on its side on VP or parallel to VP, while its surface is making inclination with VP, then in the initial position, the plane containing that side is kept perpendicular to xy line on vp and vice versa here in the problem it is mentioned that the set squares longest side is on vp while its surface is making inclination then that longest side need to keep on vp and perpendicular to the xy line so this longest side need to keep perpendicular to the xy line and this longest side should be on vertical plane so this is the important point we need to remember it's a initial assumption in the initial assumption we need to keep that longest side perpendicular to the xy line in the front view now we'll move towards stage one solution stage one that is initial position in the problem it is mentioned that 30 degrees 60 degrees set square is resting on its longest side on vp and its surface is making an angle 45 degrees to the vp so for initial position what we have to do we have to remove the surface inclination if you remove the surface inclination then the total set square is to be on the vertical plane with its longest side perpendicular to the xy line now we will draw front view of this set square in front you will get true image of the set square here the measurements of the sides not given so we are assuming the length of the longest side as 80 mm so as a first step draw xy line then draw longest side first say a dash as well as b dash the length of a dash b dash is 80 mm after that 
we need to locate point C. For that, what we need to do? To A B, at B, draw a line with an angle of 30 degrees. To A B, at A, draw a line with an angle of 60 degrees. Those two lines are meeting at a point called C. That is the angle between AB and AC is equal to 60 degrees and the angle between AB and BC sides is equal to 30 degrees. So here the angle between A dash B dash line and B dash C dash line is 30 degrees and the angle between A dash B dash line and A dash C dash line is 60 degrees. That is drawing front view is over then we'll draw top view because this plane is on vertical plane that's why in top view it image falls onto the xy line so draw projectors through a dash b dash and c dash towards the xy line after that say a b c here in the case of top view b point is not visible so that b point is kept under brackets then join ac the line ac is the required top view when surface is on vp and perpendicular to hp with this we completed stage one then we'll move towards stage two in the case of stage two the surface is making an angle 45 degrees to the VP. So this top view is to be tilted with an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. That we'll see now. Stage 2. In the case of stage 2, we are considering the surface inclination with VP. That is in the case of stage 2, we are keeping this side on VP and tilting the total plane so that it is making an angle 45 degrees to the VP. So for that what we need to do? So we need to redraw this top view so that the top view is making an angle 45 degrees to the XY line. So reproduce this initial top view so that it is making an angle 45 degrees to the XY line. For that use protractor then draw 45 degrees line then locate point a as well as B on XY line, then take AC as radius with A as a center, try an arc on that inclined line, with that you will get AC line. After that, after drawing the second top view, then we need to draw second front view. For that what we need to do? From A, comma B, comma C, Draw projectors vertically up. After that, draw locus lines for A dash, C dash, as well as B dash. Then locate the intersection points, say A dash, B dash, C dash, and then Join A dash, B dash, B dash, C dash, C dash, A dash. This is the second stage front view. That is, when the plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the VP, then we'll get front view like this. Then we'll move to the third stage. In the case of third stage, the longest side, which is on VP, to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the HP. That we will see in the third stage. Stage 3. In the case of stage 3, we will consider the longer side inclination with HP. For that what we have to do? That means we need to tilt this front view in such a way that A dash B dash that longer side is to be tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the VP. So for that what we need to do? We need to draw 30 degrees inclination line to the XY line. 
after drawing 30 degrees inclination line then locate b dash as well as a dash on this line with a length of 80 mm so for difference sake we are using a1 dash as well as b1 dash on this line this is a1 dash and this is b1 dash and the gap between these two points is 80 mm after that we need to locate c1 dash here for that what we need to do a dash c dash as a radius a1 dash as a center draw an arc b dash c dash as a radius b1 dash as a center cut already drawn arc with that you will get c1 dash point after getting the c1 dash point then join a1 dash c1 dash c1 dash b1 dash a1 dash b1 dash this is the third stage front view after getting the third stage front view then what we need to do we need to draw final top view so for that draw projectors through a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash vertically down with the help of the mini drafter after that draw locus lines for c as well as a b points after that locate the intersection points this is the intersection point of a1 and this is the intersection point of c1 and this is the intersection point of b1 then join a1 c1 c1 b1 b1 a1 this is the final top view here when the surface of the plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the vp and its longest side is making an angle 30 degrees to the hp then we got top view shape like this here the longest side inclination with hp is 30 degrees this is first stage solution and this is second stage solution and this is third stage solution here all these dimensions are in millimeters this is the first stage in the case of first stage we assume plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp and this is the second stage in second stage we considered surface inclination of the plane with vp third stage in this third stage we considered longest side inclination with hp with that we got final top view like this that's about the solution for the given problem visit again for more videos on engineering graphics the links provided under description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing if you have any queries you can mention under comment section under this video i'll respond